Welcome to the Siwahi installation tutorial for MediaWiki 1.15.1. Uh, to get started, uh, create an account at siwahi.net and log in. Once you've logged in, go to the databases button right here in the tool in the top button bar here, and you will see a button that says something along the lines of create, click to create uh, my database. Once you do that, you will be given this information here. This information is what you use to connect to your MySQL database, and you will definitely need it. Um, the next step is to download MediaWiki uh, from the MediaWiki.org website, and to extract it to a folder and to upload it to your web space. You can do this either with the file manager or using an FTP client. Uh, once you have these files uploaded, you go to the URL that you put them at, and you'll be greeted with this setup page. Um, clicking the setup page, you'll notice that you get a config file error. Uh, this is because MediaWiki is trying to create a file and it does not have the permissions to do so. So let's fix that. Let's go into the file manager here. go to MediaWiki and we're going to select the we're going to click this checkbox next to the config folder um, and then we're going to come over here and say chmod and what we want to do is we want to check these two boxes here um, and then click the check mark and this will give uh, pretty much everyone uh, permission to do whatever they want with the config folder. We'll be changing this later, uh, but we need it that way for our installation. So let's go ahead and go back. Let me come back here again and click the setup button. And now we're greeted with a setup page. Um, when filling this out, you want to actually start with the copyright uh, because the way it works, the pop-up is a little funky and it'll actually clear the entire rest of the form. So I'm just going to go with public domain because this is a test. You can choose whichever ones. If you, to demonstrate what I was talking about, we'll go with Creative Commons license. You want to do choose and see it opens in a new tab here. So we'll go ahead and allow these people to do this and select just to show you what I was talking about. You selected the license, you may now proceed. Click proceed. It takes you back to this, and it would have cleared out anything you had in these other boxes. Notice, however, that you still have the old one open. You can close that. All right, so let's go ahead and fill this out. Uh, our wiki name is going to be Siwahi Wiki. Contact email, you can actually put in, you need to put in your Siwahi email account uh, software test in my case this will be the username that you signed up with um, let's see we have our license you want to pick a username for your admin and a password we'll leave caching off just go you can customize most of this stuff okay here you can customize most of this, but we're just going to leave it at the defaults for simplicity's sake. All right. So now we set up our database. All this information is on your databases tab on the main website. Here's your host. And make sure you copy this information from the website because your information is going to be different than mine. DB name. Is the database name, username. I'm just copying and pasting here. And then here's your database password. Just copy that, paste that into there. And that's it. We don't need a super user. You want to put in a database table prefix. Um, everything that MediaWiki does, it does by using tables. If you have multiple things installed that use tables or even if you have multiple installations of MediaWiki 
the different installations need to have ways to tell which tables are theirs. This is done by sticking a prefix on the beginning of it, so this has to be unique for each installation of MediaWiki you have, and should be unique between all installations that you have. And we're just going to call this, well, Wiki. I don't intend to have any other ones installed. You want NODB, MySQL 4.1, and install. And it says installation successful. We need to move our local settings.php to the parent directory. Now you can either go back to the file manager and do that here, or you can use an FTP program. I use WinSCP, and I'm going to do it through here. But what we're doing doesn't change either way. Uh, it's the same both ways. So we go into our config directory here. We're going to take local settings. And notice here, I don't know if this is as obvious in here. Let's find out. No, you can't see this in here, so this is important. Um, local settings.php has an owner of 80, whereas if you look, everything else has this significantly larger number. This is my user number. Uh, it's unique for each user. 80 is the um, ID number of the server. What this means, however, is that you will not be able to modify this file as it stands because you don't have the same permissions. To fix this, what we're going to do is pull it off of the server. And then we'll put it back on. Oops, okay, that didn't work. Well, we need to move it anyway, so delete it from here. And we move it into here. And you notice now you have a local settings here, but with your user number. And that's important. Okay, so now, uh, for security reasons, it's a good idea to delete your config directory. So we'll do that. And then we're good to go come back here